go, hey, you know, tell the press about this thing and that thing to the public. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for a revelation that's shaken the very foundations of secrecy. Just three minutes ago, Edward Snowden sent a message that will send shivers down your spine. A message concerning the enigmatic world of UFOs. Get ready to explore this extraterrestrial bombshell with us. Let's dive in, shall we? Major institutions that we rely on are unveiling unprecedented levels of granularity in their investigations. Yet, amidst all this curiosity, there's a question that seems to hover on the fringes of our collective consciousness. What's the deal with aliens? The vast expanse of space, with its mysterious frontiers that we barely understand, makes it difficult to completely dismiss the notion of other intelligent life forms. After all, life on Earth has demonstrated its remarkable ability to adapt and survive, even in the harshest environments. Just take a look at tardigrades, those resilient microorganisms. Could it not be reasonable to assume that other interplanetary life forms have undergone similar evolutionary journeys? Major institutions that we rely on. Um, this is peeling back a curtain that we have never seen done this level. Meanwhile, in the realms of secrecy, Edward Snowden, a former CIA employee and NSA contractor, now wields access to some of the nation's most closely guarded secrets. As an inquisitive mind with the digital equivalent of Google at his fingertips, he embarked on a quest to uncover answers to some of society's most pressing questions. Attention is drawn to the enigmatic Area 51 stormers, the unwavering chemtrail believers, and the skeptics of climate change. What Edward Snowden uncovered, though, concerns UFOs, and it should give us all pause. What exactly is the evidence that Edward Snowden has stumbled upon? Are there truly extraterrestrial beings out there? And should we be apprehensive of their existence? Let's embark on this journey to discover the truth. Now close your eyes for a moment and imagine what it would be like to encounter an advanced extraterrestrial species. These beings have discovered our tiny blue planet and made contact with Earth. But before you let your imagination run wild, let's acknowledge a significant point. Most portrayals of extraterrestrials in popular culture, from War of the Worlds to Independence Day, tend to depict them as malevolent, brutal, and utterly indifferent to humanity. Our imaginative depictions often show aliens as aggressive conquerors, egotistical overlords, or entities bent on the obliteration of any rival species from other galaxies. It's a narrative that has given rise to fear and trepidation in many brilliant minds, including Stephen Hawking, David Brenn, and Elon Musk. They express deep concern about the potential malevolence of extraterrestrial life. However, it's crucial to note that there is no concrete evidence to suggest that aliens are inherently hostile in any way. In fact, when we examine the existing evidence and consider the vastness of the cosmos, keeping our presence hidden from potential extraterrestrial neighbors may be one of the most unfortunate choices humanity has ever made. So why are so many people today eagerly embracing the possibility of extraterrestrial life? It's not merely idle speculation. Some of the brightest minds in the field of science have put forth findings and speculations that hint at the likelihood of something beyond us in the universe. Consider Commander David Fravor, who, to this day, grapples with the memory of a training mission in San Diego on November 14, 2004. What he witnessed that day was a tic-tac-shaped object moving at speeds far beyond anything known to conventional weaponry. In the vast expanse of the azure sky, we found ourselves soaring through the heavens aboard brand new Super Hornets. It was no ordinary day. It was an air defense exercise, a clash between the forces of good and the enigmatic specter of evil. David Fravor, a seasoned pilot, shared his remarkable tale in a captivating History Channel interview. As the sun covered the USS Princeton aircraft carrier in golden light, a regular air defense exercise took an unexpected turn. Fravor and his fellow pilots were called for a practical mission that would change how they saw the sky. Everything seemed normal, like a rehearsed dance of jets in the big sky theater. But in the middle of their maneuvers, something strange happened. A bizarre sight awaited them, a mystery they couldn't explain. Suddenly, they saw something unusual under the blue waves. A shape, something like a ghostly figure. Not a jet or a submarine, but a puzzling mystery. It's white. It has no wings. It has no rotors, Fravor said, his voice filled with wonder. I thought, what is that? This unidentified flying thing seemed to break the rules of physics. It didn't have windows, and the infrared sensors couldn't find any exhaust like there should be. 
It was like a riddle, a puzzle begging the pilots to figure it out. Fravor couldn't resist his curiosity. With bravery or maybe a little recklessness. Patience, uh, in a way that even they can't break. Like right now, uh, Google and Facebook, they do a great job. He decided to get closer. The craft, like a mythical creature waking up, shot up from the ocean, following Fravor's flight path. It danced in the sky in a way that made no sense. Then, in an instant, it disappeared, leaving only confusion behind. Fravor and the other pilots went back to the USS Nimitz, their voices filled with excitement and confusion. They told the story of their strange encounter, a tale that would both puzzle and haunt them. Another pilot took to the skies to find the mysterious Tic Tac. Amazingly, they succeeded, locking onto the thing that had defied the laws of flight. The Navy had wanted to keep this incredible video secret, but Destiny had other plans. It got leaked to the public, starting a frenzy of interest and questions. Now let's go back in time to November 1944, during World War II. In the middle of all the chaos, US Air Force people saw something they called Foo Fighters. These mysterious things glowed red and moved gracefully through the night sky. Lieutenant Fred Ringwald was in a night fighter above the Rhine Valley when he first saw this strange show. Eight to ten of these otherworldly things formed a perfect line, like a magical dance that didn't make sense. Worried they might be enemy aircraft, the pilots checked with the ground radar but they saw nothing unusual. One brave pilot prepared for combat, but then something strange happened. The lights just disappeared, as if they vanished into thin air. The mystery remained, and people kept seeing these Foo Fighters. Another pilot reported seeing a T-shaped pattern of red and green lights on a cold December night. Once again, they blinked out of sight, leaving the airmen with more questions than answers. Were these natural tricks or secret Nazi inventions? The Foo Fighters' mystery lives on, a puzzle for the ages. In the vast universe, there's another cosmic mystery waiting to be solved. Avi Loeb, a respected astronomer from Harvard, proposed a daring idea. He said that the asteroid Oumuamua wasn't just a random space rock. It might be the remains of an alien civilization or an extraterrestrial spaceship. Is this idea too wild to consider? Just a fancy idea? Or could it be a discovery that shakes our understanding of the universe? Loeb's bold theory has divided scientists, sparking intense debates about what Oumuamua really is. In March 2021, Scientists from Arizona State University had a different idea about Oumuamua, a mysterious space object. They said it might not be an alien thing, but just a block of ice from another star. This makes the space mystery even more puzzling, making us think about what we don't know. When we look at the night sky, it leaves us with one big question. Should we keep trying to solve these mysteries or leave them alone? There's a strange thing in space and it won't tell us its secrets. Avi Loeb thinks it might come from somewhere beyond Earth, but others disagree, saying it would need a super heavy planet to form. So, the big question is, where did this strange space object come from? There's a secret project called AATIP that started in 2007 by the Department of Defense. They wanted to figure out strange things flying in the sky that we don't understand. Luis Elizondo was in charge, looking into UFO sightings. After 10 years, he left the Pentagon and we learned about AA Tip. Now we wonder, what other space secrets does the military know? But the search for aliens isn't just for government groups. Carl Sagan and Jill Tarter started the SETI Institute with NASA and the National Science Foundation. They use lasers, telescopes, and radio waves to find signs of intelligent life in space. Many scientists join them in this search. But as we look at the vast universe, we wonder if we're the only ones out here. NASA announced in March 2022 that they found over 5,000 exoplanets. With better technology, we keep finding more planets. Maybe one of them has intelligent life. So we ask, is there anyone out there among all these worlds? But as we dream of meeting aliens, we have to think about a big question. Do we really want to meet them? Are they friendly, here to share knowledge, or could they be dangerous conquerors? This used to be just a sci-fi question, but now scientists debate it. Should we send messages into space, inviting unknown beings to visit us? Or should we keep Earth's treasures hidden? Edward Snowden talked about this with astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, sparking a debate beyond our planet. Even as we try to solve space mysteries, we face the Fermi paradox. With so many planets, why haven't we met any aliens yet? There are lots of ideas. But the question remains, 
Where are they? Are we the only ones in space? Or maybe they talk in a way we can't understand? As we explore space, we think about the risks and rewards of talking to other cosmic beings. Are we ready to meet beings with unknown intentions? Are we prepared for the idea that the universe is full of life, some friendly and some not? These questions are not just about science. They're about what's right and wrong, and we all need to think about them. In all these space mysteries, one thing is clear. Humans really want to connect with space and understand it. As we explore the universe, we wonder if the pursuit of answers, even when it's risky, is part of being human. And that's it for this video. Please click the like and subscribe buttons down below if you found this interesting. To make sure you don't miss any uploads, tap the bell icon, share the video and provide all of your feedback in the comments section. See you in the next one.